and I don't think there's a team playing better on the women's side than number seven, UConn, 23 and five overall. Right now, I wanna look at the last two games in particular, and we can talk about games before that and what they have coming up in the Big East tournament, but the last two games have been very, very significant, and it's because of the return of Paige Beckers. Coming off the tibial plateau fracture, she sustained the injury in the December 5th win against Notre Dame, was out for almost three months straight, and finally made her return Friday, February 25th in a 93-38 win against St. John's. Now, in these two games that she's played, the final two of the regular season, she's been on a minutes restriction. 12 minutes here in the St. John's game, eight points. She hit a buzzer beater at the end of the first quarter, got the crowd hyped, got the crowd going. AZ Fudd led the scoring effort with 19. Aliyah Edwards had 16, huge game for her. Caroline Ducharme, Olivia nelson Adota, Kristen Williams, all in double figures as well with 13. Huge, huge confidence building win for UConn and just for Paige to get her feet wet again and get back on the floor and knock down some shots. Now she started on Sunday, February 27th in an 88-31 win over Providence. That was senior day for UConn. Beckers did not start in the St. John's game. She did start here in the Providence game, had two points, three rebounds, and five assists. So the St. John's game, she played 12 minutes, the Providence game, 13 minutes, and had a nice solid stat line for that little amount of playing time. Kristen Williams had 16 points, AZ Fudd, Dorka Juhas had 14, Livia Nelson Adota had 13, Caroline Ducharme and Aliyah Edwards were just outside double figures, Ducharme had 9, Edwards had 7, and now with that, UConn has won 7 games in a row, and they're the number one seed in the 2022 Big East Women's Basketball Tournament. And just like we talked about with Baylor, I don't think there is a team playing better right now than UConn in women's college basketball. That doesn't mean they're the best team in the country but they are the team that's had the most surge. And they've been so consistent over the last couple of weeks. And with Paige Becker's back now, there's really more juice with this team. For them to see Paige back on the floor had to have been a good feeling for everybody on that team because UConn just isn't the same without her on the floor. They've sustained losses this season where they've been super out of sync on the offensive side of the ball. And it's been very alarming. And there's still some things they need to clean up. But they're as healthy now Actually, the healthiest they've been all season long because Paige is starting to get back to 100% and starting to get more comfortable. Fudd's at 100. Yuhaz has had some injuries, but she's back playing very well. Kristen Williams, Nelson Adota, Ducharme. The whole core is there, and they're ready to make the push now. Doesn't matter about their ranking. Really doesn't matter about what their seed is either. It's just about the opponents they draw and finding good matchups. And we'll see who they get in the Big East tournament. It's going to be a very competitive tournament because... There's a Villanova team that's a number two seed. They have the biggest player of the year in Maddie Segrist, and they have a really, really good coaching staff. They've done a great job building that team. DePaul is the four seed. Marquette's the five seed. Those two teams are playing coming up Saturday in their first game. So definitely look at this Big East tournament as not just a cakewalk for UConn. It's going to be challenging, and especially in the semifinal and, and, and in the Big East championship game, there's going to be a challenge waiting for them. And it could be in the form of DePaul. And they got to face Anissa Morrow. They've had trouble dealing with her, the biggest freshman of the year. It could be with Marquette, which is a team that I think they're really much better than and they've had their way with. And then you have a Villanova team that beat UConn just not too long ago, maybe under a month ago. They got a win against the UConn Huskies. So Villanova, DePaul are really the two biggest threats. I really don't see Marquette as uh, much of a threat coming up. But look at Villanova and DePaul as really the, the teams to watch coming up in the Big East tournament as far as opponents UConn could draw. So 